All right, guys, here's a little fix for an error with Windows 10 specifically. Probably other Windows versions too, where you try to install iTunes and you get the Apple application support not found, error two. Um, this is just a quick, easy fix. Worked for me, hopefully it works for you. So what we want to do is just uninstall all the iTunes that you have on your laptop or your computer. Um, download whatever version you need, 64-bit, 32-bit, and just have that saved uh, and waiting. Now, next, just go to Google. And you're gonna be you're gonna need to install the WinRAR application. So WinRAR. See, so I just go select WinRAR download, and then um, it can be easier to just go to like WinRAR download and support. Um, what you're gonna be looking for here. I have 64-bit, so I would download this one. Um, I've already downloaded it, so you can see here. It pops up in my downloads. You can see here the WinRAR 64x64. Then I have my iTunes in here also. This won't be in here until you do the WinRAR steps. But once you get this in here, you can open WinRAR if you would like. Um, you may not need to open it. But just right click on the iTunes, the iTunes download that you have. And go down to extract to, and it'll say I, whatever the name of the file is you downloaded for your iTunes. Um, it'll have the name here. So I extract to this. You click that. Um, and I, it already exists for me. And I'm just going to replace it just to show you how to do it. It's going to run this. Uh, and that's what's going to give you this folder right here. Um, once you run that, you'll see that it gets this folder. Just double click on this. And you're going to want to hit the whatever version applies to you. I have a 64 bit. So I double click the Apple application support 64. And all of this I'm doing before I even download iTunes again or install iTunes again. So I install this, it runs, it updates. Then I go down here and I install my actual iTunes. Uh, once that installs, you don't have to restart or anything. Just hit OK, finish. And then um, when you pop up iTunes, it's going to look normal and you're going to be allowed in there. You're not going to have any errors anymore. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions.